Hello, and thank you for joining me on another Overwatch console button mapping guide. Today, we are going to be talking about the Junker Queen. Uh, you're too long, didn't read on her. Her jump is going to be on L2, that is left trigger. Her scatter gun, which is her shotgun, is going to be on R2, which is right trigger. Uh, her jagged blade, which is the knife she throws out, is on R1 slash right bumper. And her her commanding shout will be on L1, which is left bumper, and Carnage, uh, which is her ultimate, or no, that's not her ultimate, it's her big axe, it's going to go on X or A if you're on Xbox One. So let's get into it here. Her scatter gun, which is this shotgun here, it fires 10 bullets at 8 damage a shot for a total of 80 damage on a body, and it can also crit. We put that on right trigger, and our next attack is going to be the Jagged Blade, which we put on R1. It is a knife that we throw out. It has a six second cooldown with three seconds of quote unquote out there time. So if you throw it and it hits a wall, it will stay there for up to three seconds before it automatically recalls and does the rest of that cooldown timer. Now, if you throw it and recall it back immediately, you'll see that the six second timer comes up instead. So a total of six seconds. And then if you throw it off of a cliff and it, it dies out of bounds, it will come back on its own the moment that it quote unquote dies or goes out of bounds. But if you throw it up high in the sky, it will not recall until until either that timer is up or yeah, something like this, or until you recall it. It does 80 damage on a hit, and then it will heal you for 15 damage. It also wounds them for additional damage as well. There is a very interesting interaction that happens with the knife to where if you duck, you will act as a ramp for your knife and whoever you're pulling toward you will fly up and behind you. I'll try it. I'll, I'll show this one more time. So if I do it with just standing up here. All right. Well, that's ball. He was. <laughs> Can't fly, can ya? Um... But crouching will create a ramp, and it will launch people over you. So if you stand next to a cliff and use that knife, you can potentially throw them over you. Next is her commanding shout. Is It is on L1, or left bumper. It gives you 200 extra health, 100 health for allies, and gives everybody a 30% speed buff. It has an 11 second cooldown as well. Uh, the health that you get for you and allies is just temporary health. It does not uh, negate damage or reduce damage like armor does. Carnage is on X and A. It has an 8 second cooldown. It does 90 damage in an area of effect in front of you, uh, which is 5 meters in front of you, and also will heal you for 40 health as an area of effect. So if I hit two people with it, I will gain 80 health. Double sharp enough for ya. Lastly is her ultimate ability called Rampage. It does 100 damage AOE. It, it brings you way forward and it will also give you 100 damage of healing for everybody that you hit. Uh, and that ticks up, so you can essentially go in there at full health, and then as you go through everybody, if you go through four people, you will get 400 damn, 400 health healed, and it will heal up over time. So as they continue to hit you, you will heal time for the reckoning. above and beyond that. And you can see their health ticks down too at 100 damage as well. So theirs ticks down, yours ticks up. <clears throat> and that is it for the Junker Queen. Uh, thank you all for watching. As always, have a great day.